Poltergeist mysteries, paranormal phenomena that defy scientific explanations. There are things in this world that, no matter how hard we try, we cannot explain. Strange, frightening phenomena that defy all known laws of nature. And yet, they happen. They are happening right now, right next to us, in the shadows of every moment, unseen and unheard by most of us. But why? Why do these things happen? What unknown forces influence our lives and, more importantly, what do they want from us? These questions are just the beginning of a journey into the unknown. A journey in which we will explore one of the most fascinating and at the same time frightening paranormal phenomena, the poltergeist. A term that sends shivers down the spine just at its mention. Is it something real? Or is it just a figment of the collective imagination fueled by fear and ancient stories? Imagine an object flying around the room for no apparent reason. A door that slams shut without any visible hand moving it. Strange noises, frightening whispers, voices out of nowhere revealing secrets no one should know. All these are just some of the typical manifestations of a poltergeist. But what exactly triggers these phenomena? Is it about lost spirits, trapped between worlds? Or are these manifestations of a much darker, perhaps even demonic force? History is full of accounts of such phenomena. From ancient times to today, people from all over the world have reported disturbing experiences that seem to defy any rational explanation. In Bulgaria, a 7,000-year-old corpse covered with a huge stone was discovered by archaeologists. Was this stone meant to hold an evil spirit captive? Or was it just a coincidence? And what can we say about those documented cases of poltergeist in medieval Germany when innocent people were lifted into the air and thrown violently by an unseen power? Over the centuries, poltergeist phenomena have been described in disturbing detail and their manifestations have been so intense that they have shaken to their foundations the beliefs of the most skeptical. From the drummer of Tedworth, to the bell witch in the United States, to the modern case of the family in Thornton Heath, England, each of these accounts leaves us with more questions than answers. What exactly causes these phenomena? Are they really manifestations of spirits or demons as many believe? Or is it something deeper, connected to the human psyche, that escapes our understanding? Some scientists have suggested that poltergeist phenomena could be caused by a form of psychokinesis, the power of the mind to influence surrounding objects. But even if this were the explanation, what exactly triggers these manifestations? Why do some people seem to be more prone to such experiences than others? And, above all, how can they be stopped? There are so many unanswered questions surrounding the poltergeist phenomenon that its mystery remains one of the greatest in human history. However, one thing is certain, these phenomena have occurred in all cultures, in all eras, and in all corners of the world. And it continues to happen today. In the face of the unknown, it is our imagination that tries to fill in the gaps. And often this imagination is fueled by fear. Fear of what we cannot see, of what we cannot understand. And perhaps, in this sense, the poltergeist is nothing more than a manifestation of our own fears. But what happens when these fears come true? What do we do when we find ourselves face to face with the inexplicable? Get ready for an in-depth exploration of the world of poltergeists, a territory where reality and fantasy collide in a frightening way, and the answers are rarely what we expect. This is not just a simple story. It is a warning. A warning about hidden forces that can manifest at any time, beyond our understanding, bringing with them fear, chaos, and sometimes death. In what follows, we will try to unravel the mysteries of these inexplicable phenomena. But remember, the answers we seek may not be what we expect at all. Behind every slammed door, every hidden whisper, lies a mystery waiting to be discovered. But are you really ready for what you're about to find out? It has existed since the beginning of time. It's happening right next to us, although it's hard for us to accept that something like this can be real. No one knows how the first people understood and explained it, but maybe that 7,000-year-old corpse, discovered in Bulgaria, over which a huge stone had been placed, could shed light on the old beliefs in evil spirits. It is terrifying, controversial, dark and incomprehensible. In a word, 
poltergeist. What is impressive about an extreme paranormal phenomenon, such as the poltergeist, is the fact that it has manifested itself in all cultures of the world since the beginning under, strictly, the same characteristics. People who had no way of knowing each other describe identical frightening experiences, and this not from yesterday or today, but from ancient times. Perhaps the oldest written mention of a poltergeist-type phenomenon comes from the 1st century AD, when the Roman historian of Jewish origin, Flavius Titus, mentions cases of possession and haunting, in terms identical to those describing today the poltergeist activities. Jacob Grimm, one of the famous Grimm brothers, describes in his Deutsche Mythology, an extensive treatise on Germanic myths and legends, a series of typical poltergeist cases. The most famous is the one that took place in Bingen am Rhein in the year 305, when in a local's house people started to be lifted into the air, thrown out of bed and violently hit by an unseen force. The testimonies of the time claim that the stones rose by themselves and were thrown towards passersby by an invisible hand, while those who dared to approach, the same force tore their clothes. All this time, loud noises and loud voices of people who could not be seen could be heard in the house affected by the mysterious phenomena. During the trip he made around Wales, in 1191, the chronicler priest Geraldus Cambrensis noted in his extensive work, Itinerarium Cambri, an event that he would never forget. He claims that unclean spirits had found a place in a house in Pembrokeshire, and that they were throwing dirt and hard objects at people nearby. Moreover, the spirits addressed the stunned witnesses and, more than once, revealed many secrets from the intimate lives of some of those present. No less famous is the case of the drummer of Tidworth in England in 1661. The incident was mentioned by the philosopher Joseph Glanville in the work Sagicismus Triumphatus and refers to the terrifying events that took place after the arrest of a vagabond drummer. Accused of obtaining money through improper means, the drummer was imprisoned and his drum was confiscated. It was only the beginning of the nightmare for the inhabitants of the small medieval settlement. Immediately after the arrest, during the night, people began to hear the loud sounds of the drum, although no one could see the one causing the terrible trouble, and the mysterious manifestations lasted for weeks on end. And if we add to these events the one from 1817, called The Haunting of the Bell Witch, an otherwise famous case in the United States, we can only complete a gloomy picture of poltergeist phenomena in history. Numerous eyewitnesses stated that on the farm of John William Bell Sr. in Tennessee, a series of inexplicable events took place in the year of Grace 1817. It all started when Bell Sr. met an unprecedented animal of huge stature. He had the body of a dog and the head of a rabbit and managed to run away before being caught at gunpoint by the farmer. Immediately after this meeting, voices of unseen creatures began to be heard night after night. The spirits laughed gloomily and attacked the people who came to visit the farm. In the end, they stopped at the moment of the mysterious death of John William Bell Sr. Next to his inert body, a vial containing an unknown liquid was discovered. Tested on the family cat, the liquid proved to be an extremely strong and fast poison. No one knows who gave the bottle to the farmer or how he was convinced to drink its contents. Poltergeist in the 20th Century 1972, Thornton Hearth, England In the house of a family of small English industrialists, one of the most frightening cases of poltergeist ever recorded was to take place. It all started in August of that year, 1972. It was past midnight when the members of the family in question were awakened by the deafening noise of the radio that had turned on, it seems, by itself and, in addition, had changed its frequency to that of a foreign post. The strange incident was followed by the fall of the lampshade of one of the lamps in the house. Just strange coincidences, the owners of the house told themselves. However, the same events began to repeat themselves regularly. The radio was on during the night while the lampshade started to bounce further and further across the room. It was just the beginning of phenomena that would last for almost four years. The events got worse at Christmas of the same year. The horrified family described how the winter tree began to shake violently, shaken as if by an unseen entity, and an ornament flew across the room hitting one of the family members. Starting from that day, Footsteps and strange voices started to be heard in rooms where no one should have been. 
The doors opened loudly, hitting the walls, and the electric bulbs in the house turned on and off without anyone turning the switches. The friends of the family watched helplessly at the drama of those in the house and proposed to them to call more priests to bless their home. But this only made things worse. In the presence of numerous witnesses, including policemen, priests, and even journalists, the terrifying phenomena continued. The chair on which one of the policemen was sitting rose together with him in the air, then collapsed on the floor. The object started flying around the house and hitting those present. The four house exorcism sessions did not yield any results. Desperate for the cause, the family turned to a medium. He told them that there were three spirits in the house, that of a farmer named Chatterton, of his wife and of a gray-haired old woman who wears a white kitchen apron. It seemed that the spirits had become violent because the house, which they considered theirs, had been occupied by strangers. To everyone's surprise, when the archives of the local town hall were checked, it was found that, indeed, a certain Chatterton had lived in the same house somewhere around the 18th century. The family left the house after its members declared in horror that Chatterton's face had appeared on the TV screen. He didn't say anything, but he seemed to be watching those in front of the TV with a menacing look. Once the owners left, any poltergeist phenomenon stopped and no other incidents were reported by the buyers of the house. And this is only one of the thousands of cases reported annually throughout the world. Poltergeist versus Science The grounded term poltergeist comes from the German language and translates as noisy spirit, poltern, to make noise, geist, ghost, spirit. The idea that led to the appearance of such a word was that of unseen entities that manifest themselves violently, moving objects and making people and animals levitate. There was initially a confusion between the apparitions of ghosts, the so-called hauntings, and poltergeist. However, paranormal specialists believe that these two manifestations are, in reality, completely different. If in the case of hauntings it is the spirit of a deceased person in a certain place, in the case of poltergeist it is possible that ghosts do not exist at all. Most likely, say the scientists, it is a strong, unconscious and uncontrollable form of psychokinesis. Incidentally, the scientific name for such phenomena is recurrent spontaneous psychokinesis. In such situations, it seems that a person unwittingly influences the occurrence of poltergeist cases. In addition, even if they share common elements, apparitions, noises, smells, and the movement of objects, hauntings and poltergeists are differentiated by the way they manifest. A haunting is never violent, although the fear is probably just as great. In the case of poltergeist, the danger to the living is extremely high and can sometimes even result in the death of those present. Then, what exactly generates the appearance of phenomena of this kind? Leaving aside the pranks and unsalted jokes of some, the poltergeist cases that are beyond any doubt are based on the presence of a human agent. Research has shown that, in the majority, such agents are represented by teenagers and children. The most plausible scientific explanation, if we can call it that, is that the major hormonal changes during puberty, the maximum intensity of life, specific to childhood and adolescence, can activate certain parts of the brain responsible for the production of psychokinesis. In such situations, poltergeist-type phenomena occur. It is already famous the case where the offices of a German company were affected by the same inexplicable noises, by objects flying for no reason and by windows that broke without being touched. The culprit of the situation turned out to be a secretary who, without realizing it, generated the entire grotesque spectacle. The moment she was released from her position, the poltergeist phenomena stopped. Obviously, there are also skeptics who claim that all over the world there are tens of millions of teenagers who have gone through trauma or who suffer from hormonal changes. And yet, only an extremely small percentage of them end up generating poltergeist cases. What exactly can be said about the situations in which it was proven that paranormal phenomena took place without any person with emotional problems being nearby? In the same vein, what explanations can be offered to those manifestations in which voices are heard, and this in the situation where all those present are carefully monitored? Obviously, religion can offer an explanation. The demons or, more rarely, the spirits that fail to find their way to the other world, return among the living. 
Their presence can be friendly or violent, depending on the personality of each entity. It is up to everyone to choose which explanation seems more plausible. But one thing is certain. The fact that such phenomena appear in all corners of the world, in different cultures and environments, that they have been reported for thousands of years, and that their nature remains unexplained, makes the poltergeist probably the biggest and most complex mystery in the world paranormal activities.